out you guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to help you freshmen out there avoid freshman 15 or channel that negative energy to somewhere positive. If you do not know what freshman 15 is, it's this saying that when you go to school your freshman year of college pretty much you're going to gain 15 pounds. And it's going to go to like your stomach, your face, to the place that you don't want it to go, pretty much. But my first, my freshman year of college, I actually did not get freshman 15. I was like fit. I was, my waist and my stomach was very tiny. If I can get my Snapchat video to show you guys when I was in my freshman year, I'll put it right here on this side of the screen. I was very fit. Like I just did not get it. But I stayed fit, and I actually started gaining, like, a little bit of thighs, like, rounding out. I still didn't get no butt. It's just, I have, I still have no butt. But I started getting more shapely from the front, I guess, like, shapely. So, I'm going to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how I avoided getting that unwanted freshman 15. So, tip number one is do not stress eat. It's hard to not do that, especially in college. You're stressing about exams, late work, trying to get everything done at one time. But do not stress eat. Like, you see all this food, like you stress, you trying to, you just start eating. Don't do that. You're going to just sit up and get bigger. Don't do that. Tip number two, walk around campus. I know in my last video, in my last school video I was saying you know make sure you have a car but when it comes to like walking around campus while you don't want to be driving everywhere you want to walk off whatever you're picking up just walk to your classes don't be lazy and drive and stuff tip number three try to join an organization or a club or even a sport that makes you walk work out jog something like at my school I was a cheerleader so we worked out a lot and we also had a club that walks. It was like a challenging thing. If you walked like a certain amount of miles in a certain amount of time and stuff like that. Or you can even get those little watches that help you get your steps. You know, your goal is 10,000 steps a day. Just, you know, try to do something that makes you move and work out. Tip number four. If your school has a gym, utilize it. Go to the gym whenever you're free, whenever you're doing your work work out and then reward yourself so if you work out three times a week you know reward yourself for something like that just utilize the gym as much as possible it's there for you and it's free your tuition paid for it use it tip number five if you are going to stress eat or snack a lot at least make it healthy food like bananas fruits apples oranges pineapples just something that's kind of healthier than like a bag of chips or a candy bar so if you are going to snack at least make it healthy tip number six eat breakfast in the morning i know it'd be hard to wake up on time eat and do all this stuff and get to class but if you eat breakfast that means that you're not going to be snacking in class or having a big unhealthy lunch you're going to be fulfilled until you get out your classes so that you can have like balanced meals instead of no breakfast, eating a big lunch. You know, it's going to throw it out. So try to at least eat something for breakfast. Tip number seven. You guys, in your calf or your dining hall, whatever you call it, it's not going to be the healthiest foods in there. But try to at least eat healthy. Maybe like salads. If you're going to eat some greasy pizza, eat salad with it. Keep it balanced. Just try to eat healthier in the cat. Tip number eight, drink as much water as you possibly can. Your body thrives off water. You have more energy to walk around and do everything. It keeps your body just moving. Drink as much water as you can. You'll see your skin getting better, your energy going up, and you'll see that freshman 15 staying over there and not getting all on here. Tip number nine, eat when you're actually hungry do not just be eating to eat you're bored in your room so you want to eat you just got food in there so you want to eat eat when you're actually hungry because if you just be eating all the time then of course you're going to be gaining those pounds so just eat when you're actually hungry tip number 10 sleep you have to sleep especially like one reason why i say sleep is if you're up at night more than likely you're going to start eating Cause there's nothing else to do but also sleep when you sleep you burn more calories in your sleep so when you're sleeping you're burning off those extra calories you're getting that energy for you to wake up in the morning 
making breakfast and do everything that you can do throughout that day to not gain those pounds so make sure that you sleep and bonus tip number 11 which goes with working out if you want to not really avoid freshman 15 but channel it to other places like your thighs your butt and stuff when you go to the gym make sure you do target workouts like eat your protein make sure you're eating protein and everything do your squats your leg workouts your booty workouts so that when you're actually eating that food it's actually going to those places and it's filling you out in those places but make sure you also do ab workouts and stuff because you don't want to be getting the food in your stomach and in your bottom area you just want to be you know slim thick so make sure you're eating but you're also working out so it's like counteracting the 15 going to the wrong place so you guys those are my tips to avoiding freshman 15 or channeling that negative energy to them positive places you know what i'm saying so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe become a doll or whatever and this is sin signing off Sin, Sin City wasn't made for you. Angels like you.